I'm Carl Danielson here with legendary coach Ed Carberry, and we're talking Southwestern College Jag football. Coach, game two, you got it done. Tell us about it. We found a way. We had to travel up to Escondido High School. It was super hot. Uh, everybody was melting on the sidelines. Uh, we played Palmar High School or Palmar College, who's been uh, an outstanding dominant team in San Diego County. We beat them 42 to six. It's a great game, Coach. So tell us, the defense again was great, but the offense put points on the board. The offense stopped making mistakes. That was the difference. In game one, we had, uh, as a group between us and Mesa College, had almost 350 yards in penalties. We reduced the penalties, the turnovers, stayed positive, and gained yards. Tell us uh, about the quarterback position in this game. Well, uh, Thomas Fishburne, who we talked about last week uh, from Steel Canyon, uh, he came out and threw a touchdown pass, ran for about 80 yards. What he does best is he makes the players around him better. Uh, uh, we, uh, DeMonte Morris, our other quarterback, uh, kind of uh, got out there going, they had a good first drive, tweaked his ankle a little bit, and he should be good to go this week. Awesome. And how about the running backs? Oh, they are the best this year, aren't they? Right now, we've got guys that are just chewing up yards. We ran for 420 yards in the game, which is unbelievable. DeAndre Daniels, had a, he'll be on in a little bit, and uh, he had a great game for us. Awesome. Um, let's also talk about like the receivers. How about the receivers this game? Um, great job, some great catches and stuff. Yeah, Tyler Adderley, who's a sophomore, uh, he uh, scored his first touchdown of the year on a fade route. Uh, did a phenomenal job of blocking on the outside zone, and we had great, great effort. Peyton Hazuga also had a good day. How about the boys up front, pushing them around and getting them yards? The O-line were at their best so far this year. We just keep getting better and better and better. Our O-line coaches are doing a great job with them. Uh, we uh, had uh, uh, Ricky Luna uh, did a good job, uh, probably his best game so far this year. Uh, and we're looking forward to an opportunity to get out there and do it again. Outstanding. Well, we'll be right back after this. H12 Sports Academy is San Diego's premier sports academy. If you're an athlete looking to take your game to another level or a parent looking for instruction for your youngster, H12 is the right fit for you. Whether it is baseball or softball and even yoga, Scott Hoppy Hopgood and his team can coach you up. H-12's facilities are some of the finest in the county, and they also have some of the greatest instructors. So give them a call at 619-328-1412, or they love for people to drop by, so come by 9314 Bond Avenue in El Cajon. Hi, we're back, and we have now with us Defensive coordinator, Junior Menards. Junior, tell us, that defense, it's rocking and rolling. What's going on with that defense? Well, we have some uh, good guys up front. We have a lot of speed. Uh, got some good cover guys. And, and uh, just like I tell the coaches, I mean, we need to find players overcoming our coaching. And I think that's what we got. We got some real good players. Outstanding. Tell us about the linebacker core a little bit. Linebacker has a lot of speed. We've got some good depth. Uh, have guys from uh, all over the county. Uh, we got two guys from Mount Miguel, Cameron Hansen and um, and um, Duran Miller. That uh, a lot of speed, real physical players. Uh, got a young man from uh, Grossmont High School, Anthony Alton. That was a safety converted him to our uh, third linebacker, and he's just doing a tremendous job. Yeah, I saw one play, and again, you've you've put a couple of quarterbacks out during the game, which is just some great effort and some great hits. We're really sorry about who got hurt, but. My word, the, just the hits that are out there are just really intense. Yeah, well, the guys are bringing it, you know, and I think uh, we do a good job with the guys up front understanding uh, leverage, understanding, you know, where they're supposed to be on, on a stunt, any giving stunt and so on. And uh, we kind of confuse the old line when we start moving around. 
Yeah, I saw you doing a bunch of TE stunts down there, and they were just chasing and just freeing it up for Cameron to just come up and shoot. Yeah, there, so. exactly. That's kind of what we try to do. We want to get the the speed to the quarterback and, and kind of occupy two two linemen when we're when we're uh, moving on our front. Outstanding. So, coach, tell me when you have like a defense like this. Right? What does it do for you guys as far as the offense goes? Well, it makes us all look a lot better. Suddenly we're getting the ball in a short field. We're getting turnovers. We're making things happen. It just energizes the entire offense and special teams. When you got 42 points being put on the board in the game, that's got to make it a heck of a lot easier for the Yeah, it's great. Too. It's great because we get to get a lot of players uh, in the game. And, uh, you know, everyone deserves a chance to get in the game. And it's great if we score some points, we can get some of the younger guys in there and get them some experience, uh, you know, playing in, uh, at this caliber of football. Awesome. So defensively, this week we're coming up and we're seeing our old buddy Dave and uh, Dave Hoover over at uh, Victor Valley. So tell me a little bit about what we're going to have to do for them. Well, Dave is a very uh, veteran coach, very coaches the O-line very well. They uh, usually have some real good skill guys and good speed. Um, I think he's kind of straight away this year from his running attack kind of uh, in the past, uh, but they're throwing the ball all over the place, so it's another game where you got you basically got to put pressure on the quarterback and, and make small windows for him to throw the ball. And you got to put up with his intensity too. Yeah, right? it's, pre it's pretty awesome how intense it is. It is. Coach, so what are they running this year? They're back to the 3-3? Three, three, Defensively, yeah, they're back to the future. They're in a 3-3 three, three stack, got six guys in the box, blitzing from everywhere, lining up anywhere they want to, and then they have that five-man umbrella behind it to make up for any mistakes. We're going to be back, back right after this message from our sponsors. Monte Carillo's restaurant on 2nd Street in El Cajon is for fine Italian dining. Pat Viani and his crew create an awesome down-home Italian experience. From fine Italian sandwiches, or incredible pasta dishes, tasty antipasta salads, and their world-famous pizzas. Monte Carillo's is perfection in El Cajon. Bring your family out to see Pat and his family at Monte Carillo's restaurant at 854 North 2nd Street in El Cajon. Hey, we're back here with running back DeAndre Daniels. Tell me, DeAndre, it's great here, it's great being a Jag, is that right? Yes, yes sir. Impos it's just impossible to watch this guy and to keep your eyes on him as he moves around the field. Coach, tell us a little bit about DeAndre. We had a great week this last week. He uh, carried the ball 19 times. He was the, number, the leading rusher in the state of California this last week. 19 carries, uh, 222 yards, and four touchdowns. And he's definitely, uh, on last Saturday, he was the fastest man on the field as he took off from long distance. I'm sure DeAndre's going to talk about that. Okay, so as the former line coach here, I know that you're running a lot of zones. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm noticing that you're looking at keys, okay, as you're going through there because the cutback seems to be working for you. Yes, Tell us a little bit about that. Well, they run a 4-3, and that's um, where they have two ends and two tackles where, and we leave the end open, well, and he doesn't know what to do, so that leaves a gap between the our tackle and the end where it's a seam to the touchdown. Yeah, and let me tell you folks, he's hit one for 90 yards. What are the other ones that you've hit? 66 yards, uh, 67, and I had an outside play too, which was 50 yards. Now it must be just incredible, because I'm just a fat old line coach that used to be a fat old center, okay? What is it like when you take that ball and you look and you see that hole open and you're just like, Jets, and here I go, and you run by everybody? Give me the feeling, please. It's just, yeah. 
just a great feeling, right? Yeah. And you just keep going. You're through there, and you just shoot out the back like a cannon, right? It's, it's almost unreal where it's like there's is nobody there, and um, you just got to... The one thing that I think that I've noticed the most is you never look back. <laughs> and that's what I like. Just never look back and just keep going. Coach, tell us, what do you think as far as this week and they're facing that 3-3? What are some of the keys that he's going to have to look at in order to use his style and, and, and to run the plays of the Jags do? Well, he has to keep his eyes up so he can see the secondary and how they're going to support the run. He does a really good job on that already. And then as he's sliding, he's got a key. And this week, because of the nature of the defense, it'll be the guy head up on the center. If he flows a little bit, he pushes it, and then he takes it back and cuts back up through the seam. If he sits there or plays to the other side, then DeAndre will bounce and go the other way. He has great uh, discretionary running skills. So in a zone, as different as zone is a point of reference play where you're going to run this direction, and the defense can push you in different directions by where they move. The other is a, a point of attack, like a power play, where we're going to run off tackle. And his strongest play right now has been the zone play, which allows him to use his uh, vision and ability to cut. Uh, probably his best play uh, that we've seen, we were talking about it earlier today, uh, this last week against Palomar, he popped through the front line of scrimmage and then out the back and the two safeties were way back there and they started closing from one side. He kind of hit the gas and ran right by both of them. They were both chasing him down the field, couldn't catch him. That's what I'm saying. That must be just the greatest feeling in the world. You're a hard runner too, man. I've seen you just put the head into people and go through them. Where'd you learn that hard running style? I learned it at Horizon in my um, high school and at Saints my, from my other high school. They just taught me to run hard with my head down and keep my feet moving. That's great. Okay, well listen, we'll be back right after this. Al's Sports Shop in Santee is your premier sports store for all of San Diego County. From team equipment to letter jackets and awards, Al's is the best in San Diego County. Let Al give you his personal touch on equipment, awards, or any of your sports needs. See you at Al's. All right, we're here back, back with Coach Carberry. Coach, so we're going to go next week. You got uh, Victor Valley, and uh, you're two and zero. What do you think as far as what we're going to do? Well, it's exciting. We're ranked uh, number nine in the state, and number nine in Southern California right now, which has been, uh, you know, first time out the gate to be able to do that, and so that's been good. Uh, we're going to play a real tough Victor Valley team. We've talked about it already. They. They always compete hard with us. Uh, most of the games have been one score or less. Sometimes we won once by one, one point, 31-30. So it's a battle. And uh, at this level, the next, we can't really look forward. We've got to keep our focus on, uh, on uh, Victor Valley. Victor Valley is a real aggressive team. Uh, they are known at times to get chippy. They are somewhat a mirror of their coach a little bit. What do you tell the players as far as how to uh, handle the, and react to some of the stuff that they say? Well, you know, uh, the, it's the same every week, the same story anyway. You, know, you want to play your game, you want to keep your mouth shut and uh, concentrate on your assignment, let your pads do the talking. That's a million, well, as many coach-isms as I can get into in uh, three minutes or less. But uh, yeah, we've got to be physical. We've got to play well and concentrate on what we're doing. We can only control uh, the attitude we bring and how hard we work. And so that's what we're going to focus on, uh, regardless of who our opponent is. Well, that's great, Coach. Good luck this week. Uh, we'll be down here watching you. And this has been Carl Danielson, along with the legendary coach Ed Carberry, for JAG Football.